Hey guys, uh, this is Brendan, and this is my practice run of my Let's Play video. Today I will be playing Black Ops 2 Zombies, and I'll be playing a level called Alcatraz Island, San Francisco. For my final video, I'll be playing a different level, but as for the practice run, I'll be doing Alcatraz. So I'm going to choose the level, and start. So, during this level I'm going to attempt to get a power-up called Juggernog, which increases your health. I'm going to attempt to get it on level 1, which is kind of difficult to do, unless you have a strategy. This is an opening game sequence. Uh, it just shows the story of this level, which is unique. It shows a couple of mobsters. You play as one of them, and I'll be playing solo or single, so I'll be one of them. I'm going to skip that. So this level is unique to the others because it has a mode called Afterlife, which I'm in right now, and I look like a ghost. So you power up electric switches, open doors in this mode, you only get three max, but you get a new one every level if you use them up, but you can only have three max. So I'm going to turn on this switch, which opens this door to get a bonus double points right here, and now I'm going to heal my body. What the fuck is going on? So take a look, there's a map of the level. That's if you want to beat it. There's a lot of stuff you can do in this level. Each level is unique. So as you can see, zombies are going to start coming out here. Did I grab one of these before? So I'm going to attempt to get Juggernog on level 1, which it is right now. To do this I need to save up a lot of points. I'm going to let all the zombies come out and then I'm going to shoot their feet eight times each and then I'm going to knife. And I have to leave one alive so the level doesn't end. So I'll begin in a second here. They're all coming out. Double points. Who's going to turn down a chance to double their money? Heal this door real quick, get some extra points. Okay, this is the last zombie. I'm gonna hope he doesn't die on his own now. I have a lot of stuff to do. So I'm gonna open up this door right here. I can't shoot without slugs. Now I'm gonna go back into my afterlife mode. And flip some switches. This is all part of my strategy. Whoops. Okay. Now I need to go turn on the gondola. That's why you open the door ahead of time so you can get in here. Because in Afterlife you cannot open doors. You need to be in your human form for that. I might as well do this one too. That opens a double points for me. Another double points. I'm gonna need that. Okay. So got my switches on. I got shit. my key. There's like holes in the walls. I'm gonna come down here and open up this door that you need the key for. And as you can see, there's another switch here. I need to go back into afterlife one more time and turn that switch on. Running back down here. Switch is on. That powers up the washing machine in that room. I know it sounds kind of weird, but I'll show you. So now I'm running towards the washing machine. I'm going to activate it, which is going to release a lot more zombies. Remember, I'm still on level one. This is the tricky part. I need to kill the zombies and get enough points using that double points I unlocked but I if I if chances are go wrong I could accidentally get a bomb which would kill all the zombies and I do not want that yeah. 
Okay, wait till this fire disappears. Grab this double points. Wow, looks like we have a winner. Thanks for giving me a lift. I have to be careful not to get a bomb. Ooh, another double points. Pretty lucky. I have to be very careful not to get a bomb. You lost that fucking bet. So, Billy, where the fuck are you? Okay, I have 5,600 points, as you can see, which is all I need, 5,000 points, and I left a couple of zombies alive. Now, I'm, it's still level 1, remember, there's about 2 or 3 zombies left, I'm gonna run back through where I came from, the entry room, I'm gonna run up here, open this door, and just so you know, that could have gone horribly wrong if I had accidentally gotten a bomb because it would have killed all the zombies and ruined my chance. Now I'll pay to use this gondola. This gondola takes me down to a lower level of the prison. Now, I need to do, I have one more afterlife saved up. And this is a crucial afterlife, I needed it. So if I were to go down right now by zombies, if a zombie were to take me down, it would be over. I would lose the afterlife, so one more. Now I'm gonna turn on this power switch and run up here to where Juggernog, the health power up is, the one that I've been attempting to get. It's right here and I need to turn it on. Now I'll run back to my body. Heal myself. And if you noticed, if everything go has gone right, you will have 2,500 points left. I have 2,800, so that's extra special, kind of. You need 2,500 to buy this. And I just bought it. So now I just got my health power up. This is a sweet and first batch. Normally this is a very hard thing to do, on all on level 1, you're supposed to have to save up points for a couple levels to even be able to access this, but using that strategy with the double points I showed you, I was able to get it. With points to spare, enough points to get myself out of here if I need to. And yep, that's how you get Juggernog on level 1. Thanks for watching guys. I'm gonna kill this last one and end it. Level one's over. Thank you.